tractor's on the front porch singing a familiar song. The tractor's in the barn and the pastor's freshly mown. Look in through the screen door, the aroma draws you in to the heart of the home where old memories begin. Cooking with her friends, sharing recipes together, stories and songs, making new memories the heart of the home. Welcome to Heart of the Home. Oh my goodness, the holidays are approaching. It is obviously my favorite time of year because that's when you join friends and family. My buddy, Mrs. Doreen Lee, came in from Jupiter, Florida. My buddy, Jerry, came in from Woodstock, Georgia, and you brought me to the most incredible home. We visited a lot of houses. We've never seen a view like this. Stacy, thank you so much for opening your home to you're, us. You're welcome. Absolutely incredible. We're going to try to teach people. We're going to start football season. You know, when, it, when it's turkey time, it's also football season. So we're going to do some wings. Now, Doreen, this is a recipe that you taught me, the chicken bites, about right. 25 years ago. Mm -hmm. And you do the little boneless bite, wrap it in bacon, bacon. and you do it with sugar brown and sugar. brown sugar and nothing else. Mm -hmm. I have taken it a little step further and I started using Han's Honey Bunny. Nice. It is wonderful. It's a great spice. I'm not going to put quite as much brown sugar because you and I both watch our sugars. So right. I decided we would do something different. But Doreen, sweet orange marmalade, low sugar version. Mm -hmm. You're going to blend this marmalade and barbecue sauce. And I tell people, buy the cheapest barbecue sauce you can find because it's the combination of those two flavors. You're going to get a citrusy. We're doing this in honor of you being from Florida, which happens to be the citrus capital of the world. And Jerry, we talk about familiar things. My favorite recipes are tried and true recipes, and then I like new things. The recipe you and Stacy are going to work on is your mom's recipe. My mom's recipe. Everybody How important is that? It's, it's a staple at Thanksgiving. Uh -huh. Has to be. Yeah, Has to be. On this segment, we're going to do the wings, and we're going to get them ready for the guys who are sitting down there. I hear a little football going on. Uh -huh. And I hear a little every once in a while, oh, what's going on down there? You know, mm -hmm. this is the time of year that the guys gather together, the women gather in the kitchen, and the one thing we're going to teach you, don't stress. I used to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning and start doing Thanksgiving alone. I didn't want any help. I didn't want any advice. I was going to do it all. As I aged, and Doreen, you taught me this, as you age, live life differently. You have to slow down. Sherry. You slow down and you ask for help. So today, right. we're going to have people coming in. We're going to shoot a couple of segments today, so you'll have a couple of weeks to enjoy what we do for Thanksgiving. And one of the things I do now is I slow down and I pick up the phone and I say, Hey, Fran, bring so-and-so. Hey, Stacy, bring so-and-so. Everybody bring a dish. Lita is going to bring something. You've done something. We all combine our talents and our efforts, and then you sit down to a wonderful meal that nobody's so stressed over. Right. And I could write a book about stress. Let me tell you something. As I got older, I learned, and you'll learn as you get older, just chill. <laughs> and, and Jerry taught me a lot about chilling time. We Last year, our Thanksgiving special was shot in Alaska. There's not a better place in the world. How much fun did we have? Uh, extreme. It was kind of sad this year, and then when he came up with your home to do this, it was absolutely perfect. The view is as good as Alaska. Is that Greenville, South Carolina out there, I see? Looks like. Hey, Greenville, what y'all doing up there? <laughs> we have viewers in Greenville, Asheville, Noonan, Atlanta, Jasper, LJ, Copper Hill. We cover such a large base, but it's all about country living. Now, Stacy, when y'all moved up here, you're pretty far up the country, girl. We are. You are a long way from the gate. We are in beautiful Big Canoe, Georgia. And tell me, did it take us about 15 minutes to get to your house from out exactly, at the gate? Mm -hmm. Exactly 15. Wow, and it's straight up. Yep. It is straight up. What is the view we see? Is there Stone Mountain out there? Do you yes. see Stone Mountain? Okay. Yes, we do. And if we see beyond that, we just keep seeing and seeing. We might even see to Athens, Georgia. I mean, mm -hmm. there's such a wide view. It is amazing. And today it's so clear and beautiful. Mm -hmm. I think we got some great shots of that. And I hope people will enjoy sitting back and enjoying this today. So we're going to teach you a little bit about cooking. We're going to teach you a little bit about life. And we're going to teach you as you get older, slow down, smell the roses, chill just a little bit. And when we come back, Doreen and I are going to head over and we're going to make the easiest, easiest dip in the world using cottage cheese. It's the only way I eat cottage cheese. And you and Stacy are going to work on your mom's dressing. So we're yep. going to take a break now. When we come back, we'll combine our efforts, okay? 
Well, Stacy, Sherry trusted us with this, so we can't mess this up. This is my mom's recipe that um, I've been making for years. Does your mom have recipes that you like to use at Thanksgiving? Yes, a lot. Cool. This is really a simple way to um, do a um, stuffing. What I do is I'll take and I make a cake of cornbread, and I start out with my cornbread, and we'll go ahead and crumble that up. Okay. And then we'll have a bag of seasoned croutons that you can buy from the store. It's really simple. Mm -hmm. If you don't have time to take and make a giblet um, stock out of the uh, giblets from your turkey, you can always go with chicken broth. Works just as good, and it's got the same taste and everything. So we'll take and saute some of our onions and some of our celery and a stick of butter. And what I like to do is I like to take and have <clears throat> some of my uh, celery and onions uncooked that I'll put into my stuffing before I put it in the oven. It gives it a real crunchy taste. Yeah. And keeps it really, really tasty. You can see it's some of that freshness. Sounds good. Yeah. Get that going. You want to take and <clears throat> get it where these will jewel. Mm -hmm. Here. Oh, it smells so good too. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to do is after we uh, jewel these, we will take, put them in our cornbread with our croutons, and then we'll put in our chicken broth. After that, we're going to season it with rubbing sage. Now, I like to put enough rubbing sage that when you take and test it, you can take, taste that sage. And the smell is like, ooh. Because when it starts cooking, it'll cook down. Yeah. So don't worry about if you're going to use too little sage, it cooks down. Okay. Just like a little more. And this is this is a recipe that, like I say, it's very simple and very easy to do, and everybody seems to like it. You do this every year? Every year. Everybody asks me for, are you making dressing this year? Yes. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like when when you're doing Thanksgiving dinner, um, you you have these things that mom cooked, and you get so used to them, and over the years, everybody else gets used to them, and then when our family members it's start a little leaving, expected. Yeah, and and it's it's, it's kind of like a way that I remember my mom and my dad. Uh, you know, they always would love. Mm -hmm. This this time of year, they they have all these meals, uh, all these little things that they like for the Thanksgiving dinner that mom would cook, and it just kind of reminds everybody of home and everybody of uh, times past and, and good times that you had with family. It just is a lot of fun, and it's a simple recipe. Yeah, I mean, that's the best part. Oh, it is. It's so easy to put together. Mm -hmm. it, um, the cornbread is very simple. You just take two cups of flour, two cups of uh, cornmeal mix, one egg, a teaspoon of sugar, and mix it up to about a pancake consistency for uh, for your batter. Mm -hmm. And I have a large cast iron uh, skillet that I'll put a little uh, vegetable oil in, put it in, put my oven at 425, and about 25 minutes, you got a cake of cornbread. And that's all your, that's our base for our dressing. Yeah, and it's a lot. There's a lot of it. Yeah, it makes a lot. But when you have, you know, 20, 30 people coming, oh, you need it, it goes quickly. Yeah. So these puppies are starting to jewel real nice. Now, it doesn't need to be no. really fine, just no. to leave it yeah. a little yeah. chunky and. Like your, your white part of your bread is going to crumble up really fine. Uh -huh. And then you're going to have your, um, crust is going to be about, you know, the size of, about like the size of a nickel or a dime. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it really, really works well. And it softens up with the amount of broth that I put in. <clears throat> the one thing that a lot of people seem to do is they don't get their um, dressing moist enough. Mm -hmm. And when they put it in the oven, it bakes and it comes out really dry. Yeah. That's always a bummer. I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So whatever you think that you're getting your dressing to, 
if you look at it and go, oh my goodness, that's way too wet, it's really not. You know, if, if it's pouring out like soup, yeah, you've got it way too wet. But if you're just taking and letting... Oh, oh hello. Look, 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 look what you are doing. Now, let me ask you something. I have done my hard part. This is fat-free sour cream, fat-free cottage cheese, mm. and Hidden Valley Ranch. That was so hard. That was really, really hard. <laughs> and I sent Jerry to the store. That was the hardest part because it was about 12 miles to the store, kind of like over the river and through the woods. Mm. Jerry, let me ask you something, honey. Do you not put <clears throat> eggs in your mom's dressing? No, I do not. Now, that's different. That is different from me. Right. Everybody does their own thing. Right. I put about six eggs. Yeah, my um, uh, dressing does not require that. Now, when I make a gravy, mm -hmm. I'll put eggs in my gravy. Mm -hmm. I'll boil eggs, dice them up, and put them in my gravy along with some of the turkey meat and, and make the white gravy to go over top. And what does Sherry Martin say about a recipe? It's only a beginning. It's only a beginning. It's only a beginning. Everybody does something different. I like celery. Some of my kids don't. I love it. I put it in my chicken salad when some people don't like it. But it's just, it's whatever you like, isn't it? It is. It is. I, I like the celery. It gives it a little different taste, mm -hmm. especially when you take the, the uh, fresh celery and put it in there, and it gives a crunchiness to your dressing. You know what I like best of all here today? That bowl <laughs> Stacy's holding on to. <laughs> oh, I love that bowl. <laughs> is it big enough? That is amazing. I, I love it. Oh, Jerry, that smells so good. And I do love these little crackers. And this dip is completely fat free. I don't know if it's fat free if you eat the whole bowl full. It's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> These are starting that to That smells good. It really better. does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you used a stick of butter, is that right? A stick of butter, yeah. yeah. Um, the uh, chicken broth, and pretty much most of the chicken broth today, we didn't have time to make my stock, mm -hmm. uh, but the chicken broth that you're going to get in the store is uh, 90, 99% fat free. Mm -hmm. uh, so. You kind of have to have a little bit of butter in there to, to build that up. Um, I tend to cook with stuff that's not so fat for me. Mm -hmm. I mean, I cook healthy. I, but well, and that's like this. This is, <clears throat> excuse me, this has um, the fat-free sour cream. You could buy the sour cream. It was right. the full content, but add some calories to it. Yeah. These are starting to get. I bet I got choked on a cracker. I think I'm going to get a drink of water. <laughs> Don't do that. Now Guess what I want Santa to bring me? Guess what Stacy got last year? An ice maker. Oh, I need these little ice makers. You need one. Right here. I you love need it. one. I love it. Handy gadget to have. Now let's talk about your house. You said you and your husband actually built this house. We did. It took us 10 months to amazing. do it. Amazing. It is amazing. Out. Yeah. A lot of work. We actually had to dynamite twice just to get the garage in. Really? Yes. Well, and the view is incredible. I mean, when you peeked out the lot, was the view there? No. Okay. I had no idea what the view would be. And how many years ago did you buy this property? 10. Yep. And when you bought, did your friends from Atlanta think she's bumped her head and what in the yeah, world? Yeah, actually, she doing? I thought the same thing when we moved here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 No, but they, they love it. We love it. Uh -huh. it, was a, it was a good move. Well, it is incredible, and the view is amazing. Now, what happens when you get snowed in here? Uh, that's, they're really good about clearing the roads. It's, it's just the driveway. Mm -hmm. You can't get out the driveway. That's the mm -hmm. only problem. Well, I would say going, if we go like Jerry brought us over the river and through the woods, yeah. it's a little curvy. It's it is. It's a little curvy. Yeah. You could, well, right now, we're going to take a break, and we're going to let Jerry get this ready to go in the oven, and we're going to hope the wings are coming out soon. You know, one of the cool things about Heart of the Home is incorporating friends and family. And Heart of the Home does have a new theme song. And it was done by the Barker Brothers up in Copper Hill, Tennessee. I hope y'all will enjoy this song. And today we're going to feature some music from the Barkers. So sit tight, hang around, and we'll come back and we'll share our wings recipe with you. And we'll continue making your mom's famous dressing. Yep. So hang around, guys. We'll be right back. <laughs> I can feel the wheels are turning underneath my feet As the roll on the shade and on my window seat Great where I'm going is better than where I've been Great the stranger sits down as if he's trying to go Touches me and says, see you're traveling alone By the way, son, 
Slows down unexpectedly. I raise my blind, he slaps mine, he's saying, This is my stomp, son, but you won't be traveling alone. Well, I look out my window to wave goodbye, but there's nobody there, just a lot in the sky. Who's my breath and my blood and scored a stone? But I can feel the wheels turning underneath my Welcome back to, we are in a beautiful, beautiful home, yep. Dawson County, Georgia. Now, Heart of the Home travels, and last year, Jerry and I made one of our absolutely best trips ever. We wonderful. went to Alaska, and we just got these tellies. We won these from the show in Alaska. Yep. The footage was phenomenal. The people were phenomenal. The Just the idea of the relaxing and being there. We shot five shows very, very quickly. Today, it's a little more laid back. We traveled about 30 minutes. Yeah. Not quite a nine hour flight. Not quite a six hour drive after that. This is a lot more relaxing and just as beautiful. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. This has been so much fun. What have you learned today? Well, a very interesting part about the dressing. No eggs. Mm -mm. And we do not need to grease the pan. No, Jerry doesn't understand grease it. Why. No. I, I would spray that with Pam, but I just asked Jerry. Mm -hmm. I said, do you need some grease? He said, no, absolutely not. Everybody has ideas that they bring to the table, and that's the whole thing. This week and next week, we're going to teach people, do Thanksgiving, do it simple, do it fun, and don't stress, because you and I have learned that as we get older, and, you know, 
you, you look at life and you look back and you go, what was I thinking? It's not such a stressful time. Mm -hmm. Just have a good time. Now you're growing turnip greens here. I am. You just showed me tomatoes that you grew this year. Yep. And you really are in a beautiful subdivision. Who'd have thought you could have had a garden? Do you just have a little bed garden? I do. I have seven raised beds. But uh -huh. it's a little difficult with the deer. Uh -huh. So I had to put a fence around it. And you said if you'd have known I like turnip greens, you would have picked me some and cooked them. Mm -hmm. What is my favorite food? Turnip greens. <laughs> turnip greens. So I'm not leaving until Stacy picks me and cooks me some turnip greens. Maybe the view here, Jerry, has mm. something to do with it. It's kind of like Alaska. It makes you want to sit down and relax and, and enjoy the company and enjoy the the beauty. The beauty is unbelievable. Today, we got a clear day. Did you plan Absolutely. this? Absolutely, I did. I you did. did? Well, good planning. <laughs> when we went to Alaska last year, Jerry, do you remember this? I called him and I said, okay, we had the weatherman from uh, KTUU on with us. And I said, okay, Scott, when we land, I want it 72 and sunny. We got 59 and rain. The next morning, the sun came out. It was absolutely beautiful. Now, how many days here can you actually see the kind of view we're seeing today? Pretty much, well, maybe one month out of the year. It's not that good. So. Not that good, yeah, okay. And if it snows, do you see everything down there? Is it glazed over? Is it iced over? Mm -hmm. Is it mm -hmm. all white and beautiful? It is. Amazing, amazing. Now, y'all have been up here how many years? Nine years. And Jerry and I just told you something you didn't know about us. My grandfather ran moonshine over these hills, and you told me something <laughs> about your family that I didn't know. Right. Did My your grandpa, granddaddy drink a little he, of the moonshine? He, he was on the receiving end. <laughs> he was. Well, Dawson <laughs> County is known for we are the beginning of stock car racing, and it began because many of the men on these hills ran shine for a living. That's how they made a living. And um, now, most of the people who live here, do they commute to Atlanta? A lot do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And do y'all do that? Uh, my husband does. I work from home. Well, how lucky are you? Oh, tough job. Look out the view. <laughs> yeah, really tough job. This is amazing, and I, I can't thank you enough. When we got here, um, I thought it doesn't get any better than this, and the more I see it, it really doesn't get any better than this. This is the best. So thank you so much for opening your home. You're welcome. Now, are we going to bring your husband on the next segment, maybe? I think we should. And, and see if he can kind of come in with us, and we'll yeah. talk a little bit about how he chose this site. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, you will not get him to cook anything. He doesn't cook well, at all. But, well, but he loves to eat, so... Good. Good. <laughs> well, right now, Jerry's going to go ahead and put... Now, we talked about this. Next week is Thanksgiving, so right. you're going to freeze some of this. Are we going right. to get the sample some today, too, maybe? We can. We Let's can. do that. Yeah. But we have the wings coming out that yep. Doreen taught me to do years ago. We have the dip that was so, so simple. We're going to hang out and watch a little TV, watch a little football. And then next week, it is Thanksgiving, and, and all you do is pick up the phone, call your friends, and say, bring this, bring this, bring this, bring this, show up at my house at 1 o'clock, and we'll have dinner. So easy, and all you have to do is provide this beautiful home, right? Sounds good. You've got the easy part. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Right now, we're going to go to the Barker Brothers. I want you to sit back and enjoy this music. You know I love gospel music. You know I love the Barkers. They are responsible for the theme song to Heart of the Home. It will now open all our shows. It is so incredible. We started at the farm at Harris Acres, and today... When you hear this song, it reminds me of going back to Harris Acres. So sit back and enjoy the Barker Brothers. We're going to sign off for today from Big Canoe, Georgia, in Dawson County. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.
sun's gonna shine in Pimec for a Sunday. That cold March wind's gonna blow my cares away. I know. 